Hello, this is the introduction video of Firehouse Part 1. Uh, so whenever you get a call, make sure you go to your incident. And then go to your Browse section, and then you want to pick your call. So WCC, whatever they put in, usually it auto-populates as you will see here, so just like so. Uh, so if you were uh, responded to a home, make sure you kind of fill it out like this, uh, and then make sure you do uh, whatever street you were on. Uh, if you're in a building that Chief Z inspected, make sure you go to your occupancy ID. You could search it and look through all these if you wanted to. I like to copy and paste up here. And there's other multiple ways. It also puts in your district and wherever else uh, the property. Uh, if you were at an intersection, make sure you do intersection and then it'll pop up which intersection. And if it's in front exact, make sure you put all that in. Uh, and then you want to put in which one. So use uh, none right now since we didn't have anything. And then you want to put in your incident type. Uh, so if you had a fire, make sure you put what type of fire. There's a whole bunch. Uh, and then for your medical, uh, you have quite a few. So if it was a just regular uh, EMS call uh, that didn't involve a vehicle or anything or a pedestrian, so just kind of make sure which one, if it's a motor vehicle accident with injuries, with no injuries. So this one will just say it was just a regular EMS call. Uh, and then I like to hit this double group one. Uh, so what did you do at the MS call? Was it ALS, BLS, which one? So in this we'll say ALS. Uh, did you transport the person? No transport do not bill or no transport billable? Uh, so kind of figure out which one you're going to do there. So make sure you have both of those. Rather it was ALS and transport any of those or BLS and any of those. You have to have two. And then what shift? So in this case, we'll say day crew. Uh, 911 call. And then it's always going to be a still. Uh, at least for EMS calls, fires would be different. Uh, so I like to skip over just for a little bit. Uh, so this would be red. So make sure if it'd be MVC, fire, EMS. And then we'll go to people are doing the report. So here, officer in charge, or you would have member making report. You need both of those in, but usually the officer is doing the report. So we'll go to myself here, and then you'll hit this, and then it'll actually pre-populate the member making report. And we'll close out, and then it'll populate down there. We'll jump back. Uh, so for 2958, uh, you want to put in what time you guys cleared. So we'll say 1330. Uh, make sure which you guys did. So other fire, rescue, medical. So make sure you put in medical or whatever, at least for one. Uh, personnel, so we were getting a lot of different things with this section, so kind of follow here. So if you do add, you only do one person. If you do add group, you'll have two. Um, so we'll do, let's see, uh, Kaufman, Eiler, Eilenfeld, and Henning. Uh, they'll be on 2958 for this call. Uh, so you'll have your rescue call in here, position, don't put anything, roles, no, don't need anything, and station shifts, don't need anything. Uh, hours worked really doesn't matter. Uh, we really care about the hours paid right here in your unit. So one hour you automatically get if you go on a call, and anything over it goes in a half hour increment. So it goes 1 to 1.5, 2, 2.5, etc. And then... We'll go to your pay scale. If you know it's going to be rescue call, which is RC, and then you'll hit that. 